gonna go ahead and look at the house um, and look how people lived back then. So here at the Francis Land House, which was built in 1805, there weren't just the people living inside the house, but there were people outside of the house too. Because this was a working plantation, we do know that there were enslaved people here as well. And in fact, at the Francis Land House, we know that Francis Mosley Land VI, who built the house, had two daughters. Their names were Anne and Mary. But there were also four enslaved children that we know were here on the property. And their names were Jacob, Enoch, Sal, and Kate. So we're going to learn a little bit about how kids would have interacted with the house, but also how houses look a little bit like the same today, how about how they also look different from today too. So come on, follow me. the Francis Land House. So once we come into this large room, which is the first room in our house, um, we can notice that the symmetry does not follow through to the inside of the house. So this room here is something that we might call a hallway today, but back then they called it a passage. And this is where everyone who is coming to greet Mr. Land would be able to see but they wouldn't be able to see the rest of the house unless if they were friends or family of the land family. So we have the privilege of being their friends today. So we're going to go ahead and go through the whole house and see how each room is a little bit the same or different. The first thing I want to talk about is if we look down, we can see something that maybe is a little bit different from our houses today. Today we have carpet, but back then they had floor cloths. And this floor cloth, it's smooth, might be a little bumpy, but it is used to protect the floors underneath us. And this originally was made from like a big ship's canvas, material just like that. And then it would have been cut and painted and then shellacked so then it made really, really hard um, and put into this house. So if for all the parents and uh, teachers watching, this is actually our first instance of linoleum. So this is where we think that they got the idea from. Maybe they did, maybe they did it. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and continue on to our next room. Like we have today instead they had candles but they also used things 
to try to create a little bit of an optical illusion. So bright colors in rooms, mirrors that are really tall in the rooms too. So if you see, I can't see into this mirror. It's a little bit too high for me. They all would be able to make the room just a little bit brighter. So it's something that we call an optical, so you're an eye illusion. So it's a trick, so it's like an eye trick. But it's a way to make this room seem larger and brighter than it is. If you can guess, what room do you think we're in right now? If you guess dining room, then you're right. This is the dining room. And this is the only room in the house that would have food. But there's something missing from this room. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, it's a kitchen. And that's because kitchens in the early 1800s were inside houses. So if we were to exit through this door here, it would lead outside to the kitchen. We don't have the kitchen anymore, but this is where the land family, um, or more likely their enslaved servants, would have had to exit the house to get the food from the kitchen and then bring it back in here to the dining room for meals. So what do we think? When we look at the food here on the table, does it look the same or different? I think it looks the same. And that's because here on this table, it's actually things that you can also find here in Virginia. Because being on a farm, we don't have a supermarket. We can't go down the street and grab some groceries. Instead, they would have to grow and raise all the food that they would need here. So they would need chickens, they would need pigs for pork, um, they would need pears, they would need green beans, and they would need squash here grown at this plantation for them to eat. So it's a little bit different than we have today because today we might grow some fruits and vegetables, but we're probably not growing everything that we eat. Instead, we're going to the store. So this might even be a good time to have a nice planting project and plant something like a tomato bush. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue to the next room. darker again, but if we take a guess as to what this room is, can you guess what it is? If you guessed a bedroom, then you are right, but we have a fancy word for it because back then we used to call this a bed chamber. And this is where we believe that Mr. and Mrs. Land slept. So this would have been their bed together, and it actually, <laughs> and it actually is set up for summer even, because this would have provided a little bit of protection against bugs, which we know that we get here in Virginia. Um, but this room has a few things that might be very, very different from our bedrooms or even our houses today. So if we look down here, this is actually where they would have held all their clothes. They wouldn't have had big dressers or huge closets. Instead, they would just have one or two chests that would hold all of their clothes in here and maybe some extra linens for the bed. So that is a little bit different from today. But also here in this room, we have something that you probably don't have in your house today. And that is this beautiful wash basin. So this is actually where they would um, clean every day. So they would have a fresh pitcher with water, pour some water in here, maybe wash their hands, wash their face a little bit. But they don't have running water in this house. They don't have plumbing, which powers your shower, it allows you to have a bath, and it even powers your bathroom, so your toilet. Um, so instead, they would have this guy right here to use as their restroom. And it is not a cup that you'd want to drink soup out of because this is where you'd go to the bathroom if you didn't want to go outside to the outdoor restroom, which we call the privy. But some of you might know it as like an outhouse. So 
Do you think that you want to live back then? Or do you want to live today where you have toilets and showers and baths? If you said today, I'm going to agree with you. I'd rather live today because because you do have things like a restroom versus back then you wouldn't really necessarily have the same luxuries um, that we do today. But also back then, if you hate taking baths, that'd be the time period to live in because it was a smelly time period. They would probably only take a bath one time a month and they wore the same clothes every day. So if you think sometimes it's stinky during the hot summer months here, try living back then every single day where it's stinky all 365 days of the year. <laughs> well, I think we've learned enough about the bed chambers. So let's go ahead and go across the passage to our last room here at the Francis Lane House. super dark. You want it nice and bright so people can see what they're doing. And this room, if you've guessed it already, this is our parlor. It is a really fancy word for what maybe today we might call a living room. But this living room doesn't have things like we have today. It doesn't have a TV. It doesn't have a radio. It doesn't have our Amazon Echo Dot. No Alexa in here. Um, instead, it has things that you'd be able to, you know, make yourself in order to enjoy the time to entertain each other. So if we look closely at the table here, we have a deck of cards, but these cards are a little bit different because if we have looked at cards today, they usually say the number on them. Instead, these ones, you'd have to count everything that's on the cards to be able to know how to play your hand. So you're always using math in this time period. And then also back here, you might have some games that are made out of natural resources like wood. Um, this guy is called a backgammon. And you can see that there's wooden chips, wooden die. And then this guy here, the shaker is actually made out of leather. So all things that you can actually make here in this time period or make from the things around you like trees um, but also we have a really cool clock here and today we have different numbers here on the face of clocks so if you have a clock that isn't digital so it doesn't just tell you like a five two or a zero to tell you that it's 520 um, instead they had these really really special numbers on them and these are called Roman numerals. So we start here at the one and we would go all the way around the clock to the 12. And this is how you would tell time. And this is what I like to call the grandfather clock of grandfather clocks. It might look like something that might be at your grandparents' house, but this guy is called a case clock. So this actually came before grandfather clocks and was really popular during this time, especially if you're wealthy. We know the land family was wealthy because they had such a big plantation here, so they could afford something really cool like this. So I want to thank you so much for coming on this house tour with me, and I hope you'll join me for our next segment when we go over a lot of the things that we've learned at all our different stations. Okay, see you next time.